Okay, here's a, a little project that I put together for using a two-stage setup with uh, electric air solenoids for your horns and go over what I have here. This in um, is a 3 8 air hose like you'd find in the garage or shop. It comes from the tank with the full pressure of the tank and it goes into this 90 degree street elbow uh, half inch thread into a half inch electric solenoid. I'm using the horn blaster half inch in half inch out electric solenoids. I had two of them so it worked out pretty good for this project. When the solenoid number one opens it's going to allow full pressure, which I'm running 90 on, 120 off, so about 120 pounds comes out of the solenoid, goes through about 3 feet of more shop hose 3 8 into a homemade manifold, which is nothing more than inch and a quarter conduit capped with 5 5 sixteenths push to connect fittings uh, drilled and tapped into the conduit. So when you trip solenoid number one, your air pressure comes from the tank, goes right through to the manifold, <clears throat> and gets distributed in for the five horns. I'm running five of the horn blaster shocker horns, which have been cut to length, tuned to the note that I want, so it would sound more like a train horn and installed in the front of my truck with connected to this. Now where this comes in and hits this 90 street, um, it also pressurizes this area which comes out here into a T with a quarter inch uh, push to connect fitting and a quarter inch line to a gauge in the cab when neither solenoid is um, on or released this would be full pressure equaling what's in the tank <clears throat> when you trip solenoid number two the air is going to come right through this solenoid and it is neck down to another 5 16 push to connect fitting and a 5 16 line the same as each one of these over here off of this manifold which is going to severely limit the amount of air that can flow through here. <clears throat> now it goes into a, a Y splitter like this one in and two out or two in and one out however you look at it and it splits into two 5 16 lines. Now these two 5 16 lines are going to intersect the lines for the two lowest note horns coming out of the manifold right here. So when solenoid 2 is activated this pressure can go straight through the the splitter to each horn and of course there'll be some overflow it's going to want to fill this line back towards the manifold and perhaps offer something for these other three but that's okay so this is what it looks like air in, air out, full blast to five horns, air in, air out, light, lighter pressure for the two low horns and the residue going back to the other three. I'm going to insert a clip here so you can hear what it sounds like and in the middle of the clip you can see me working the split the switch. It is nothing more than a momentary switch which is on up and on down and the center is off.
So here in this video is the front of my truck with the grill removed and that first horn on the left is uh, 415 uh, Hertz and then the uh, two stage setup. So the red hose is coming from the tank going into the street elbow and the air can flow straight through into the state into the uh, switch one solenoid one and um, it's really hard to see because there's so much going on here but it goes back into another red hose and loops loops around and comes back into the manifold that I made that has the five five sixteenths push to connect fittings on it and then each one of those is feeding the horns and you can see that this line coming up right here is the one that's coming from the second solenoid which is over here so it goes down around and it loops up <clears throat> and it splits here and it intersects with this horn and then the other one intersects with the horn up here so that second horn is a 370 Hertz the third horn is 311 Hertz and here is the highest tone bell which is 494 Hertz and the lowest tone which is 261 Hertz and uh, the wires coming in to activate the the solenoids from the switch in the dash so this is the T that I mentioned earlier it has the quarter inch line going out this goes all the way up into the cab <clears throat> for my gauge because um, all of this area uh, I'd have to go back to the beginning oh there we go all of this from in to this switch and up to this switch all of this is pressurized from the tank so you heard it sounds pretty good pretty low budget uh, two stage air horn set up and to me I think it sounds pretty good hope you got something out of this video like and subscribe and uh, happy honking